In this video, we're going to discuss updating your Precision Planting 2020 and how to download software from our website for your 2020. First, you're going to navigate to www.precisionplanting.com using whatever web browser you use on your computer. This is where you access the internet with your computer. Once you're at the precisionplanning.com site, in the upper right, you'll see the button for support. You're going to click that button for support. This is going to take you to another page. This is our cloud.precisionplanning.com site. And you'll see here that if I'm not logged in, I have a 2020 downloads spot here near the top of the page that I'm going to go to. If I am logged in, then you'll see this bump out on the left side for 2020 SeedSense downloads. That's where you'll download it from if you're logged in. But we're going to go to the place where you do not have to have a login. So 2020 downloads. You click there. Now I need to select what generation monitor I have. So we have the 2020 Generation 3 downloads here. The 2020 SeedSense Generation 1 and Generation 2 downloads here. So let's do a download for a 2020 SeedSense Generation 2. Here you see I've got 2020.0, that's the latest version. I also have uh, some 2017.4 versions for Generation 1 displays a 2017.4 for Generation 2 displays, or then the boot software for a 2020 Generation 2. So let's choose the 2020.0 display for Generation 2. I'm going to click that. Now some computers may give an option at this point to save it to a certain location. If it does, you'll want to go ahead and insert your USB stick that you plan to use to transfer this file to the 2020 and save it directly to that USB stick. If you don't have an option, then your computer may have downloaded it either to your downloads folder or the desktop automatically. So now let's see what that may look like. I'll minimize this window. Here on my computer, it went to the downloads folder. So I'm going to click on my downloads. Here at the top of the screen, I have my update called dugen2 underscore update 2020.0.full. And then it has .img as the file type. I'll use my mouse to right click on that. And then I can copy that file. I also could just click on it and drag it to the location if I'm able to see the location I want to go to. Here's the location that I want to go to. This is my USB stick here. On your computer, it, it may have a letter of a drive, maybe a D or an F or G drive, something of that nature. Then I can right click and paste the item. And then it's going to copy that file onto my USB stick. I want to make sure and copy this not within a folder, but to what they call the root of the drive, the main part of the drive. If it's in a folder, the 2020 SeedSense is not going to be able to find it. So here you can see that it's copying it to my computer. We'll give it just a moment to complete that. The next thing I want to verify, once it's completed, is that the file name is correct. If I download the same file with the same name more than one time, the computer can't have two files with the same name on it, and it may have added a dash one or, or a parentheses one to the file name. If that's the case, the 2020 won't be able to find that file and utilize it. So I'll show you what that may look like. At the end of the file name, you may have a parentheses one like this. We'll zoom in so that you can see it a little better here. And so that parentheses one needs to come out of the file name. So I can right click on it and get a rename option. When it does, it allows me to put my cursor into that file. And I'm simply going to remove 
or delete the parentheses one or dash one so that the last thing it says is full. It's fine if your computer says .img after the full, but it cannot have a parentheses one or dash one. So once you have that removed, you're good to rem eject that drive from your computer, however you do that with your computer, and then take that USB stick to the SeedSense to update it. Now that I have the software downloaded on my USB stick, I'm going to go to the 2020 and I want to update my software. So I'm going to place the USB stick in the side of the monitor, then I'm going to navigate to Setup, and then to the Data tab, and then to Software Update. Here I can see 2020.0.full, that's the version I want. If I have other versions on the stick, they will show there on the screen. I'll press enter. And now I'll simply follow the instructions on the screen to update my software. And it's completed, so I'll now I'll remove the stick and hit OK. If it was unable to find the update on the USB stick, there could be a couple of reasons. One, the 2020 SeedSense has circuit breakers built in for the USB ports. So you may need to reboot your USB or your 2020 to turn that port back on if there was some static discharge when you tried to plug in the USB stick. That way we protect the internal components of the 2020. So rebooting it may allow that USB port to work again. It's also possible that the USB stick that you are using is one that's not compatible with the 2020, so you can try another USB stick. Finally, if you did not verify that the file name was on the root of the drive, not in any folders, and did not include any dash one, parentheses one, or any other number after the full of the file name, uh, you would need to check on your computer to make sure that that isn't the case. If there's the computer added a dash and a number or a parentheses and a number, the SeedSense won't be able to find that file. So these are the things that you can try if it's unable to find the update. Once the 2020 is done rebooting, it should return to the home screen. You then can verify that the update was completed by navigating to the setup button and seeing the version number on that screen. If you have any questions, please contact your precision planning dealer or us here at Precision Planning Product Support. Thank you for watching this video.